work full time for us. No fucking thank you. Oh! Don't fucking touch her. Hey guys, welcome back to my playthrough of Life is Strange Before the Storm. In the last part, Chloe went back home. Uh, we had a pretty, pretty good confrontation, I feel like, with David and Joy. And uh, we're in the junkyard fixing up our truck. It just turned on and we're in the middle of that. So let's get back into it. Okay, back, back. Yeah, it turned on, but does it drive is the thing. Oh, the radio works even. Oh my god, it does drive. And she has a screwdriver as the key. Imagine. Do we even know how much gas we have in the car? Oh, I can't believe she did it. One hell of an accomplishment, honestly. Her hands are real dirty. <laughs> uh oh. What did she find? Oh, just a mirror. Hey. What? Junkyard Queen. It's Rachel. Where are you at? Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. Oh! I was gonna say hot. But, oh, yeah, flirting! Hey. I'm not sure if you it's saw. It's just like Rachel's feather, but actually. Someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. Oh. Oh, they know each other. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his oh, fucking fuck. bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? Oh, no. What's he doing here? Oh, no. Hey. I thought we were cool after that Drew North thing. Don't you want to be cool? I want to be non-existent, actually. I just want to talk to Frank. As long as you don't get in the way, we'll be fine. <laughs> I told you. She's like this. Gotta say, yeah. I really dig the whole tough girl thing. Ooh. Frank was right about you. How'd you like to work full time for us? No fucking thank you. Oh! Don't fucking touch her. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Don't touch my fucking girlfriend. Ooh. Uh oh. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Well, you laid your fingers on us first. Like, we Frank didn't hit you unprovoked. You're asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah. yeah. There's no it's point true. lying. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this mm. man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know, right now, why you give a shit about this woman. Mm. 
A friend. Like, sh she's a friend. An old family friend. <laughs> this chick doesn't have any family. Oh, no. Or any friends. You think Sarah is Look, with him? None of this matters. The drug dealer? All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Oh, Rachel doesn't like that. Tell oh. me where she is. Now, Rachel. Oh, Wait no. a minute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no way. He laughed what without smiling. What the fuck is your problem? Rachel? As Ooh. in, Rachel Amber? How does he know <laughs> us? That makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, oh, he knows. your dad's a real piece of shit. You know? We know. We were aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. Here's what happens next. Uh oh. Come on, man. Oh, I thought you had they're a gun, just kids. but he has a knife. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon! Calm down. One. We're still talking. Everything's still Who else cool. Is asking about Sarah. Don't need to get crazy. <gasps> oh, what a badass! What a dumbass and a badass! Oh my gosh! Oh, fucking bitch! You can't! Oh my god! Oh, you better grab that knife. You just no! Okay, she looks like she was just stabbed in the arm. I mean, of all the places to get stabbed, that's uh, not exactly fatal if you get to it quick enough, you know? So, I mean, that's just not how she dies. She dies from uh, Mr. Jefferson, so she has to survive. Hey, come on. At the hospital now. So oh, fuck. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. I got her at the hospital. Parents are here. Just a place we have to settle for. Less than we dream on. We'll continue to be firefighters. Oh, from the uh, the fire Rachel started. Okay, there's her dad. Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She had a surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what okay. happened? 
I'm trying to figure that out. I don't, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. Do you know who Damon Merrick is? Or why he hates you? I know Ooh. exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? Yeah, I'm she not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But, Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? Uh... To scare us away. I, I think he wanted to scare us, so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? Uh... He didn't want dirt on you. Rachel did get angry. It was... It was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. She's protecting me too. It wasn't only that. She was already angry about Damon pushing me around. She is like her mother. Quick-tempered, rash. I've always been afraid of losing her the way oh. I lost Sarah. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But. You could have grabbed the knife. When he attacked her. I just froze. Mm -hmm. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. Okay. Um. What about Damon? What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have. Um... Oh. Thank you, Chloe. Oh, that's hard to think You're about, saved isn't it? My world. Especially for. Father. It will oh, be some time before Rachel him. wakes up. Oh. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. It's, uh... Not as bad as he seemed when we met him. Oh, she's here. Hey. Steph. How's Mikey? Oh, pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. Because Mikey's there too, because he broke his, uh, his arm. Also because of Damon. 
<laughs> I don't All think I can Dad? sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Okay. Let's look around. A pirate ship. How appropriate. Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up, and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it in one way or the other. And what about Damon? Is, is he gonna come after us? I actually feel better knowing that James Amber is on his case. Hmm. Our new contemplating spot. Children's pirate ship. One more hour of waiting, and I would have read that. Mini golf monthly. Frank's business must be booming. Shit. I really hope he's okay. Recent increase in anesthesia complications from recreational drug use. Can I come? Nope. Sean Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? Is this for real? Administrator Hoff's daughter. One of your current patients is Michael North, a student at Blackwell Academy who was injured on school grounds. As the physical safety of its students is a core responsibility of any school, Blackwell has failed Mr. North in this instance. I would therefore like to personally, and I stress anonymously, cover his medical expenses. If I may be of assistance in speeding the process, do not hesitate to contact me. Sean Prescott. Thought of, really? Really? Sean Prescott? Really? Weird. I guess the citizens of Arcadia Bay aren't feeling so generous. Mm, that's for the firefighters. Weird. All right, then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Mikey? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Mikey's hurt, of course. But the doctors are saying it should heal up relatively quick. And Drew? Hey, maybe you heard. He's all set to go to Oregon State. Full ride for four years. That's... Oh, yeah. That's he awesome. He even got another offer. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Yeah, uh, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? You should ask Drew. You should probably ask Drew. I, uh, don't really know any details. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. I know they've been trying to help me out, money-wise. We're a family, mm -hmm. you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. Let's, uh, see Mikey. Oh, look at his cute little wizard bear. Be strong, Alyssa. Adorable. Steph, we have his brother. Where's Chloe. Mikey? Hey, you made it. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Chloe. 
Hey. How's the arm, Mikey? I wish it was the other one. So I could draw and stuff. But other than that, it's just broken. Sweet hair, by the way. I bet you could pull off Sailor Mercury. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Thanks. Any news Imagine. about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. How'd she get hurt? She has her Skyrim necklace You'll again. think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. Why? What happened? Rachel was stabbed in the arm by Damon fucking Merrick. Yeah, that's not funny. Shit. You serious? Fuck that guy. It wasn't because yeah. of me, was it? No, of course not. Oh, no. We got our own set of problems with him. That's crazy. The whole thing makes me want to just... I swear, if I ever meet that shithead... You're gonna get stabbed I'm gonna... if you do anything. What are you gonna do when you meet Damon Mare? Something terrible. Uh-huh. I am. Like... Karaoke battle? Challenge him to a karaoke battle? <laughs> Yeah, that's how we settle things on the street, huh? Okay. Threw mm -hmm. dice at him. Criticize his taste in film. Okay. Tell him about a band he's probably never heard of, but should have. Enough. Oh, sick burn. She's anyway, big mad. We're glad Rachel's okay. Oh, uh, you should hang out here till she wakes up. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should. Probably head over when I'm ready. Wow, science uh, hey. fast. Can I sign your cast? Yeah, definitely. Hmm, something nerdy. But not too nerdy. Armor. There you go. Cool. Oh. Tell Rachel she's got to come to board game night. Light so. armor. What are you guys doing? I thought you'd never ask. I had to hide our game from the nurse. She thinks it's negatively affecting my mood. Elamon's well, backed gone. himself into a pretty tight spot this time. He might not make it. Wait a sec. Calamastia. She can join Elamon in battle. Maybe the two of us together could actually make it out alive. Wait. Yeah, another D &D battle? You're into this nerd shit too? It's yeah. a game where I win if I make up crazy shit and act like a badass. So yes. I hate to be such a game master about it, but I'm pretty sure Chloe's character died last time. Do we make oh, a new one? Yeah. Wait a sec. Didn't you have that anklet of reincarnation in your inventory? Uh, yeah. Oh my god. I totally did have that thing. Holy shit. So you can actually swoop in and save my ass. What do you say? You bet. You gotta save Elamon. Let's do it. Right? Oh my gosh. We rejoin Elamon as he majestically soars over the traveler's path. He glances over his shoulder only to discover his pursuers are right behind him. Wait, you can fly? I'm a wizard. Plus, I kind of have to since you cut oh, my wizard, feet Chloe. off last time. Uh, sorry. Oh, shit. I, I forgot I did that. Sorry. It's cool. Elamon comes around a corner to bitter, discover but... Calamastia, the elf barbarian, sitting by a fire, roasting squirrels. Greetings. Uh, 
Greetings, powerful Elamon. From whence do you run? Oh, uh, uh, float. <laughs> or whatever. Funny you should ask. I'm being chased by an army of dragonkin. Remember when you killed that jailer and took his key to free the prisoners in the prison camp? <laughs> Turns out you offended their entire clan. And they're after mm. me now. Well, I, I think that was really more of a team effort. You mean when you told that dragonkin that you'd skin him, make a handbag from his flesh, and then carry him around in it? Yeah. Yeah. That was really a team effort. It was. Your crotch punching abilities are second to none. Suddenly, That's true. Dragonkin scouts rush in, clawing you while your backs are turned. Take four damage. Not You're up four first. damage. What do you want to do? Anything but four damage. Spinning I slash. Do a spinning slash. Sixteen. Ooh, good enough. Pretty good. You spin around. Using your axe to slash all six dragonkin at once. Yeah. They all drop dead in a puddle of blood. Hey, nice one. Don't celebrate yet. You begin to hear the clinking armor of hundreds of dragonkin warriors. The sound grows uh -oh. louder as they grow closer. And this is why I was running. Oh, uh, we can take them. Oh, come on. You can totally take these fuckers down. I just killed six of them. Those were yeah. scouts, Chloe. Warriors are four times that hard. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Hmm. Running and living. Yeah, sounds like a plan. You sprint as fast as you can until you come across a fork in the road. One what path leads master. into the mouth of a deep, dark cave. The other takes you into a dense, misty forest. Which way do you go? Um, I feel like the caves would be a dead end, so I'm gonna go to the forest. Right. To the forest it is. Let's go. As soon as you enter the shade of the great trees, it becomes eerily silent and very cold. You notice the stones on the ground are arranged in strange patterns, creating huge designs all over the forest floor. I think I know what this is. I follow the stones. The stones lead you to the center of the forest, where you see a mysterious Ooh. glowing idol upon a golden pedestal. Found something? A forest idol. I could use that to regrow my feet. Help me steal it. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. No, this is my kind of skill challenge. Awesome. Let's feel it. Roll for idle theft. Please don't get a one. <laughs> Twenty. You find a log on the nice. ground and pick it up. Ever so slowly, you lift the idol and slide the log into its place. Sweat pours down your face. You wait, but nothing happens. No net appears to catch you. No blow darts shoot from the trees. The idol is yours. <laughs> yes. Fuck yeah. Nice. You Indiana Jones the shit out of that. Using the idol, Elmon channels the energy of the forest. Fog sweeps in from all around, obscuring his legs. When the fog rolls out, Elmon has a brand new pair of feet. All yes, right. Finally. Okay, guys, I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna end it there. Thank you so much for watching. If you like, please like, comment, subscribe. I would really love your support, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!